He's a celebrity makeup artist, a TV personality, and he also keeps some of Hollywood's most famous faces looking their best. Oh, I like that. Their best. Their best. <laughs> and now he's bringing his runway experience to you. Here to talk about his new makeup line, J. Manuel Beauty, is the one and only J. Manuel, a.k.a. Mr. J. <laughs> Thank you very much for that oh, intro. Oh, speaking of Mr. J, yes. you, you became a household name from America's Next Top yes. Model. Did you have any idea that that show would be so huge? Well, then I would be called Mr. J. Mr. Specifically, J. <laughs> like when I walk in the streets, actually on my way to the studio, I got out of the car about, because the traffic's terrible, of so it was course. like a block away, and I'm hearing, Mr. J, Mr. J, that's how I know. <laughs> yeah, it's like, okay, my hair has arrived, at least, we'll say that much. Right, right. It's what very you, iconic hair. Yeah, how yes. did you come up with the color, and when did you decide actually, to Actually, you know, that? it was a dare from Tyra Banks. We were shooting season <laughs> one of Top Model, but we were halfway through, and I said, well, I can't change my hair color, but it's because I like the, the cartoon character of Flash Gordon. He had silver hair. Oh. So she goes, you should do it. It would work on you with your skin tone. And I was so like, awesome. so I did it right when we wrapped, and now it is kind of stuck. And then everybody followed suit. Everybody's mm -hmm. doing now the silver, everyone's into the silver. Thing. Yes, right. you had it first, Mr. Yeah. J. We yes, know that I did. Fact. You heard that, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, talk to us about how that show changed yeah. your life, besides becoming Mr. J. Well, you know, with America's Next Top Model, you know, having the opportunity to kind of really showcase all of my talents. I mean, mm -hmm. people knew me as a makeup artist. Mm -hmm. I had been working at that time when we started Top Model. I mean, I was working with, you know, Iman, Jennifer mm -hmm. Lopez, Rebecca. Rebecca Romaine, all these different women. Tyra, obviously, she introduced me on the show as her makeup artist, and we were flying all over the world with these glamorous women and actually working with some amazing creative visionaries, you know, with major campaigns around the world. But when you start top model, even though you're known within the industry, then you kind of really become known, you know, in the flyover states across the country. Yeah. And it really got to showcase, you know, I'm not just a makeup artist, I was also paid as a creative director. Mm -hmm. And Tyra really specifically wanted that kind of show Shown. So, you know, in that you get to do different things, work with brand integration, understanding branding, which was one of the things that I did mm -hmm. in my real life outside of Top Model. Um, and it just got a chance for me to kind of showcase all of that. You dropped some names. You've had a remarkable career. <laughs> How did you become a celebrity makeup artist? Talk to us about your journey. <laughs> well, the real beginning is quite probably not what anyone would expect. Um, Tell us. We want to know. <laughs> well, just in terms of the agent that saw my work, I, it was actually a photographer um, that I was working, I was, I was going to NYU, and um, he said to me, oh, I'm doing like this big CD cover with Luciano Pavarotti. Now, believe really? it or not, but I had to put him Pavarotti. into, but I had to put him into character. It was for a Met recording for the Metropolitan Opera. Gosh, so yeah. I did that, and an agent saw my work. He said, you know, you're really talented, and I, you know, he saw some of my work, and literally, it, you know, this business is word of mouth. It sure so is. at a very young age, you know, I was, you know, I started working with a lot of different people and I took my book up to Vogue and I started doing the Vogue portraits. Once you start working with celebrities, they all kind of talk. So then I just started, you know, working with so many people at such a young age. Yeah. You know, and that was like 20 years ago. Wow. So I'm like, I'm old now. <laughs> you Not look good. Thank you. I'm 42 and I'm proud of it. Is it wow. one of these concealers in here? Right, right. I am, well, yeah, well, you know when you do TV, men know, you know, mm -hmm. you got, when you're on TV, you got to wear your powder. Mm -hmm. I am yeah. wearing my Skin Perfector um, foundation and the powder. Nice. Well, talk to us about your product line yeah. and what makes it different from all the other makeup lines that are on the market. Well, you know, and that was important to me. You know, this is really going back to my roots and I've worked with a lot of cosmetic brands in formulation over the years as a makeup artist. So for me, um, I didn't just want to do J. Manuel Beauty, put my name on some pretty packaging and call it a day. It was really about bringing innovation. And everyone says, oh, this is innovative and it's new. But I was going back and forth to Korea where they're really at the forefront of new technologies. Oh, right? I.e., you know, the foundation has um, like micronized silk in it or this powder to cream, which is, as you notice, I said powder to cream, powder not to cream, cream to powder. Okay, so what does that do? Because literally <laughs> what it is, is a lot of women would say to me, I like the ease of these powder foundations, like these loose foundations. Mm -hmm. But then you probably know, you'll buy it you try it, you know it doesn't cover anything, no. right? It seems easy, like, oh, I put it on real dust and quick. Mm -hmm. What this is, is it looks like a loose powder. This is actually one right here. Right. This is like mm -hmm. the component. And I actually made this custom cap, so it's like this, there's a bowl in here, it's a tool. Oh. But, this is, but this is actually, it looks like a loose powder, but as soon as skin to skin, like you touch it, mm -hmm. it turns into a cream. That's so this fantastic. is actually these kind of technologies and it's infused with diamond dust. So there's real diamond dust, because think about it, diamonds refract light mm. and everyone wants to kind of give this kind of smoke and mirrors the to glow. their pores, to so their fine glow. lines. It was something that you said when I walked into the studio. What it actually does is it um, gives you the soft focus effect, hence 
this filter finish look. So we don't, need, we don't need these lights right. anymore. <laughs> well, you actually don't need the filters that the are on. The filters. Uh, yeah, there well, you go. Is that what Hashtag inspired no it? Filter. Like Instagram? Exactly, because uh, everybody, everyone's, you know, takes a picture. And what's the first thing you hear people saying on the street? Put a filter what, on what it. What filter can I use? What filter, filter can I use? Because right. they want to kind of control the mood and how people see them. Right. So this is um, specifically with the foundations, the powders, and even the skin facelift. They're all under the filter finish collection because they're either, they either have the crushed gemstones, the diamond dust, the micronized silk. These are technologies that create a soft focus effect to the skin. And now what about long lasting? Through, yeah, though? walk us through what you brought here today yeah. so we can get a yeah, sense well, this of is, all that you have to offer. Well, this is actually a very small range okay. in terms of shade range because it was really important to me to be inclusive of all women. Okay. So I always feel That's that important. the very, very, very fair women tend to be kind of lost in the marketplace. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, our nice, rich, dark, chocolate sisters, sisters you know they, yeah. and that was a thing for me you know with my clients I'd worked with anyone from the fairest to the deepest of skin tones and the actual foundation shade ranges reflect as such so I have so light from filters. From Nicole Kidman to Alec Weck you got Literally. covered. Literally you can see in like the pictures in the back mm -hmm. of the girls we're using the real product we go from super fair to super deep. Okay. Oh wow. Yeah. So, so we have a skin perfector foundation I mean mm -hmm. this here we'll pull up this one right here. Okay. You'll, this is your shade. This I have is my shade. And this is actually the color of the makeup that is inside yes, here. Yes this right? is a window. So this is a window. Yeah, you can feel. Now you can That's feel this. Cool. This has that micronized silk. Rub it into your hand. You can so feel. Good. It. Ooh, yeah. Silicone based micronized silk, but it gives you. That's a great match. <laughs> that, it is. You, oh my are you going to steal this one? All right. She's taking that we one. got more for you in the back. Don't worry. I mean, honestly. Wait, wait now, one of these actually comes with, a, with its own app. I have pockets. Right? Yes. <laughs> oh, she's actually putting she's it in right her pocket. It's right. gone. Got it's that. gone. Okay. All right. No, but yes, it was important to me. I'm a huge techie. Uh -huh. And I notice a lot of women, they rely on their technologies and everyone's on their smartphones. Uh -huh. But the biggest question that I always got when I was walking on the street is, oh, I don't know what shade is right for me. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, oh, I don't know what makeup to, to mm -hmm. wear. Because we're true. only seeing a few colors here, but when you walk up to a full cosmetic line, how do you know what eyeshadows work for you? It can cetera, be overwhelming. Right. Very overwhelming. Mm -hmm. So I created an app, it's called the J Manual Beauty app. Really simply, Everyone knows how to take a selfie. Yes. So you take a selfie, okay. and it is powered by Plum Perfect, which has a patented shade selector in it. So it knows the difference between incandescent light, fluorescent light, daylight. Wow. It'll auto-correct the photo and then pull up your filter finish matches for your skin exactly to match. No. That's impressive. Then it only is going to ask you one question. Are you classic, iconic, or avant-garde? Because I oh. feel women instinctively put themselves in one of those three mm -hmm. categories. And there is no other category. Which yeah. is Lola? Which category classic. is she? So you're a classic. Oh, yeah. I have a feeling on the weekend you're an iconic girl. Whoa. I'm iconic. Because I've seen you in your off time. And you <laughs> love to go with a smoky eye. Well, you go a little more iconic. <laughs> oh. But anyway, the point Thank is you, you just tell the app if you're classic, iconic, or avant-garde. Or if you change your mind, you can always go back in and switch it to avant-garde if you're avant-garde on the week. Exactly. Uh -huh. And then it'll pull up the... Um, eyeshadow colors, any of the other color products that work within that category. So I've done all the guesswork for you. Thank and it's a free app, you download it, so that you literally can just already create your wish list or buy right out of the app right there. Now Jay, we have one minute. Where can we purchase this? Yes. The app you said, but will it be in You can also as go well? to jmanuel.com. Nice. Mm -hmm. We have a full e-commerce there, and then also I'm doing HSN, and we're doing okay. special um, bundles and special kits for HSN, but we also sell the full line there, and you can see the demos and all the women that I use on there. We have a lot of fun. Oh, okay, so perfect. before you go, one last tip. What's yes. the most important thing people need to know when buying makeup? How to buy it, where, you know, all that those details, and applying it as well. What's most important? Um, well, that's the great thing. With the app, it'll really kind of walk you through a lot of that. And, the, you know, the key is also having the right shade. I yeah. think that is the most intimidating thing for most women, especially when you're buying into foundations, um, bronzers, et cetera, right. is having that right shade. But right. you've got me yeah, covered Yeah, we got now. you covered, yeah. And if you're not covered, you can go check out the app, right? What's the website again? jmanualbeauty.com, and the app is just jmanualbeauty. You can find it in the iTunes store. Oh, Jay, awesome. thank you so much for thank being you. here. Great, thank you're you awesome. so much. You're awesome. Mr. Jay. In the, house. Oh, in the house. You're watching Rise <laughs> Entertainment 360. We'll be right back. <laughs>